Hello everyone, and welcome back for our next episode in our Alien Isolation playthrough. Well, we finally had a bunch of encounters with the Worker Joes, and yes, they were not really kind. At least they tried to act super polite while they were beating the snot out of you. <laughs> but we successfully navigated through there, and in the process found out that yes, Samuels and Taylor did make it, although Taylor is injured. We've navigated our way back into the little hub area that we were starting in. I know there's an alien still creeping around, and then there was even some random people just standing out in front of me where we logged off in the last episode. How much longer do I got before we really start having alien encounters? I don't know, but we're getting closer with every episode. If this is your first time finding the channel, welcome. Hope you have an awesome time. And if you do have a great time, I sure hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button for me. Without any further delay, let's get back into Alien Isolation. Okay, here we are. And what's with these random people? Hey, how are you two doing? Can I just talk to you? Are you nice? Hello? Anything? <laughs> He's like me when I was trying to hide from the worker Joes. Not really doing as well as I thought I did. Think of your fellow passengers. Take your trash That's so weird. Okay, well, uh, we're gonna get right to it. I think this is the the transit we need to go hook up with Samuels and Taylor. Anything of interest in here? Mm, nothing too significant. All right. Complete the fourth mission. Mm, I wonder how many missions there are actually. I feel like if they're just numbered like that, I might look that up. Go to Samuels and Taylor. It's so weird Samuels has an S on it. It's not just Samuel. It's Samuels. Kind of throws me off a little bit. Uh, okay. Oh, hey, right there. Oh, no. Ripley? Is that Ripley? Oh. Yeah, she don't look good. Try and rest. How is she? She needs treatment. Medical's nearby, but I didn't want to leave her. I'll go and investigate. See what I can find. You stay with her. I'll try to repair the radio booster. What if this creature shows up? Hide. Hide. Unauthorized security breach detected. <laughs> I guess that right. All transit shut down by order of Apollo. No! Oh, crap. Apollo? Stay with me, Taylor. Ripley's oh, finding help. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. Houston, we have a problem. You always know a working Joe. Yeah, you Joes. There's little time to waste, Ripley. Wow, I hear his voice better clear over here than I did when I was right next to him. That's funny. Okay. Let's quick check on the OBS there. Looks like everything's good. All right, well, let's go ahead and hit this. There we are. Okay. Thor's Ruin? Oh, yeah, it's kind of fun. City and Stars. Oh, what? I didn't even think about it. I should probably do a quick scan. Let's see what else is up here before uh, we start venturing. I know it said to go that way. Synthetics out. Okay, I kind of feel like we're past the point in the game now where it's like going to be gentle. I feel like now is when things are going to start kind of ramping up. If I had to guess. Okay, tranquility. Yeah, we read that poster before. Uh, Cup of Joes. Yep, we've seen that one. It says keep out. Doors are locked. Can't get in any of those. Help. A quick scan. Just trying to get to know my surroundings a little bit. Are there no cameras here? I don't hear any cameras going on. I didn't know if that was part of the shutdown, but... Okay, maybe a... Apollo is probably still able to watch us. 
somehow. Sneaky little guy. User manual. Okay. Now, I haven't tried shooting or attacking. In fact, I talked to a few of you in the comment section after dropping the first video now. Um, yes, this is technically a first-person shooter, though it's not exactly advised. Uh, it's it's more along the line of stealth and hiding and sneaking than it is to try to like shoot your way out of a situation. And I was wondering that, especially after our little run-in with the work working Joes here recently. Oh, that reminds me, should I craft anything? I'm not gonna worry about an EMP right now since uh, we don't have any Joes with us. It's probably gonna be a little bit. A flashbang though could be nice. That's something I feel like could be used to kind of possibly really mess up a alien for a minute. Okay, here we go. Strangers will be shot. Oh, just walking up here, I all of a sudden got a chill that ran down my back. Oh, I just know it's gonna start falling apart here. Oh no, we got bodies. I feel like up until this point, we haven't been trapped. But the fact that we're like shut off to this section now makes me feel like we're a little more trapped than we were previously. Nourishing Niblets. Light snack. I like that name. That's kind of fun. Guaranteed to last the whole journey home. The sights of Sevastopol. Remember your stay with a limited edition print of KG348. <laughs> Uh, it's really kind of hard to make that one out. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be able to read. If I find another one of those, was this the same? Oh, now it's sideways. Okay, looks like I won't be reading the small fine print on that one. Is this map stuff? Looks like somebody put graffiti on it. Hope they didn't mess up my map. Okay, what do we have here? Bring up the legend. Okay, exit areas here. This is the place that I was just down at, okay. We haven't discovered anything else yet, I guess. Okay. Starting to get the hang of this. Thank you, we got here. Oh. I hear somebody talking. Locked. That's not a worker Joe, neither. Are you guys good guys or bad guys? He's staring at me like he's a bad guy, maybe. I got a feeling these are the kinds of guys I can probably actually take out with my weapon. If I had to guess. Not the aliens or the worker Joes or anything. Oh, now I hear a camera. Yeah, there you go. Now Apollo's able to watch us. I knew Apollo was still keeping an eye on us somehow. Okay, this looks like the same one. Here we go. I think we can read this one. KG-348 is a Javon gas giant? Yavon? Maybe it's Yavon gas giant? Its outer layer is largely compromising a molecular hydrogen. After initial scientific surveys of its cloud layers, a rare mix of metallic gases were discovered amidst, amidst the expected helium-3 leading to further investigation and heightened possibility of expanding Sevastopol into a fully-fledged atmospheric mining facility. Oh. Hmm. Could that be maybe where they found uh, another alien? Sooner or later, we gotta figure out how the alien actually got on here. The hottest entertainment news. Scorcher. I like that. That's fun. Yeah, credit service, uh, loving, lovingly machine rolled for your pleasure. Yeah, that's a different picture, but we've seen that one before. All right. Ooh. Oh, these are opening up the outside. Okay, that I'm okay with. I thought those were all vents that were like opening up and something was gonna come out of one of them. Man, check that view out. So that, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Yeah, that's this planet. 
AG348, so that's where all the mining's taking place. That's totally that planet. Oh, nice. I wonder if we'll end up down there before this is over. Dirt. You. Hey, you. Need some help. I need a doctor. Hello? I, I need a... I can't hear you. Hang on. Hmm, haven't finished exploring this room, but come all right. On, come. There's no time to lose. Okay. Can we trust this guy? Get into San Cristobal Medical Facility. We have a map of this? I don't know. Not really. Apollo can Forget see where we're at, though. The marshals locked everything down. Use the vent. Okay. I thought this was a map over here I could pick up there at first. Alright. This place is kind of cool looking. Okay, there's our vent. Oh, what we got here? A flashlight battery? Thank you. You know what? I'm not even sure I've gotten all the way through my very first flashlight battery yet. I'm pretty proud of that. I figure later when I'm being chased by aliens... Through vents, maybe? That's when I'm going to be like turning it on and be like, I don't care if I use six batteries. I have not turned this thing off. That's my my current plan, at least. We'll see how that continues to go. Use the vent system 20 times. Okay, we're awfully trustworthy, this guy already. I mean, he sounds pleasant enough. Okay. Okay. And this way. There sounds like something's rumbling. Oh, wow. Apollo's going to be like, wait a second. You know, I'm surprised Apollo actually doesn't have control over the vents. Maybe he is only, or it is only able to control the Joes. That's the only thing it can maybe do. Okay, here we go. Got a better look at the place now. Uh, are there different floors here? Okay, just, just where we started in this place here. Okay. Good to know. Maximum payload, 10 people in the elevator. Just FYI. Private room, private room, rehab rehabilitation clinic. This could be a patient we're coming across just as much as a potential doctor. Stabilization ward. Chief medical examiner. Okay, okay. There could be some good, helpful people here. Key card required. Do I see anybody? I don't see anybody. Okay. We shall proceed. Oh, check out that speaker, man. That is serious. I don't want to be in this hallway if that thing starts going off. It's so loud. Right. She's been kind of polite to these people. That's nice. She seems to be kind of aggressive with most so far. Barmax, medical bandages. This is some trap. I'm Coleman. Ripley, I need to find a doctor. I'm a doctor. My friend needs help. Medical supplies. Me too. There are no supplies on this level. But there are plenty downstairs in the hospital dispensary. How do we get there? We? Do I look like I'm in any fit state? I need your help, and you need mine. You find the passcode for the service elevator, and then I'll come down to the hospital with you, okay? Passcode? Yeah. I can direct you from here. Morley or Lingard would have had the new passcode. Morley's office is your best bet. Is that on our map? Kinda. Looks like maybe this door over here. Okay. All right. Obviously, the real question is, is he really a doctor? Can we trust him? 
that's ultimately where we got to start this conversation. Anything over here to pick up? Interact with? Nope. All right. Oh, okay. As much as I don't want to be turning this on already. Going to. Uh, okay, what's down here too? Okay. Oh, I thought it was a dead end there for a second. Is this... Is this a different room? Okay, it is a room. Oh, that's kind of fun. What is that little doodad? Kind of reminds me a little bit of Qbert. Anybody else thinking Qbert? Let's see here. Hello, Mr. Q. Oh, I want my battery. My flashlight. I don't know how to change the battery, though. I'm assuming once it does run out, it's going to explain to me how to change it. That's my guess, at least. Mm, I don't see anything on the calendar of significance. We got some, got some pictures over here. Looks like people enjoying life. Okay. You know, I wonder if I should go ahead and, um, I like how it says update map when you already have like part of a map. Oh, what's this? Blasting cap scraps. Okay. I have two medical and my health is not all the way full. I wonder if I should go ahead and, um, I think I need to go ahead and do this so I can get full health. Boy, she just jabs it right in there like it's no big deal. Okay, and let's go ahead and craft another. I like the idea of having two. There we go. Woo! And then I can pick this up. And that up. Okay, I'm back to max on scrap. Never sleep pills. <laughs> I would totally be okay with something like that. I have often said, and you maybe if you've been here long enough, you've probably heard me say it in other other playthroughs. I've always said if I could have a superpower, it would be that I never need to sleep. I feel like I could do so much more if I didn't have to sleep. My wife's the opposite though. She absolutely loves sleep. I, I say we balance each other out. I sleep too little, she sleeps too much, so we, we make a nice little balance there. We don't forget the little details when seeing the big picture urgent well there's a big mess in there so eliminate lice before it spreads I mean I guess we are in like a medical area I guess that's why they got some of these things here we got hotlines dealing with isolation don't suffer alone that's kind of the name of the game literally <laughs> oh they set me up for that one all right get here. Use the lever. Oh, wrong button. Yes. Hmm. I feel like this is where we started. I'm pretty sure it is. Yep. Okay, that's fine. This is the room we need to try to get into, isn't it? Is that what I was saying on here? Oh no, I need to go up and then to the left. Okay. My bad. Need to go in there somehow. Hmm. How do I get into there? Apollo? Want to give me a clue? Mm. Okay, so we show an access here from that room that's on the other side of the counter, and that's where he's at, I think. He's not going to let us in. We can't go straight. Hmm. What am I missing here? 
Oh man, there's a lot of good stuff in there. Is there a vent down below? Broken glass. Oh, we got a save point right here. Let's go ahead and hit that. Okay. That way, should something bad happen, we are good to go. Yo, Doc. Oh, this is the psych ward. Uh, door is locked. Yeah. Aha! Emergency override. Yeah. Nothing bad could be in the psych ward, right? Come on. Let's work together, huh? Mutual benefit. He sounds sketchy the way he's talking now. He's like, uh, yeah, yeah, you can trust me. Bet you anything's not actually a doctor. I bet that's not a doctor either. Okay. Keep moving. The area you're in was for our more unstable patients, those who had trouble adapting to deep space. Just tell me where to go, Cole. Tragic cases. Don't worry, they're all long gone. Uh huh. Yeah. Sure. I ain't worried. Do I look like I'm worried? I like to squat while I walk for the exercise. That's why I do it. Okay, well, here's a save point, thankfully. I thought that thing was supposed to tell me if there was any. No, no, wrong way. Me? Dude, I'm still heading the right direction. I'm just kind of. Getting to know the area a little bit. I don't know if I like what I'm seeing. Okay, what we got here? We don't take kindly to be left out of the loop, Morley. You hear me? I tried to use the dispensary today and found I was locked out. I can't possibly be expected to carry out my duties if you and Lingard cut my access privileges. This place has such promise when I first came here. will relapse it's without tragic. that medication. The a waste of my time. Things on the station are so precarious. I will not see patient care suffer. Consider this a formal warning. And for the record, I do not have a problem. Coleman, out. I mean, it's nice that he wants to chime in and add some talk and some dialogue, but not while I'm listening to something, dude. Come on. Got a little chess match going on here. Had such promise. It's a waste of my talent. Yeah. I wonder what your talent is. Oh, look, you can actually <laughs> look at look at that. So, the 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 pieces are supposed to be round, but look, it's all like one geometric shape. <laughs> I don't know if I trust them Cheerios. Ooh, we got some here. I'm not gonna bother with the radios. I don't feel like they ever do anything. Look at all them cassette tapes, though, man. Somebody was here jamming. All right. are among friends. The sun is high in the sky. How do tragic, you feel? Tragic, tragic cases. Far from the rhythms of Earth, sunrise, sunset, the mind has a tendency to wander. Tragic cases. But Morley wasted far too much time on coddling them. They should never have come here. None of us should. That was nuts. Just stuck in there listening to those positive sounds and words of encouragement is that what was going on there uh oh nice i didn't know if that would work through glass or not super cool okay where did we start we started over that way i don't think we started over here okay so we're heading in the right direction but what's this over here it was green wasn't it no, it's red. I can't get into that. Okay. Well, let's go try our luck over here. That's right. Along that corridor. Yeah. Why can't you get your lazy butt out here to check on this? You're like right around the corner, dude. Oh. There are a lot of hidey spots. Ungrateful, but very nervous. Okay. I haven't done this for a bit. Let's see if I still, still got it. Okay, we need this one. 
this one. There we go. I bet on the harder difficulties that you get less time to try to You're solve those. That's Morty's office. The passcode should be in there somewhere. That's what I would guess. That's one of the ways they make it more difficult. Oh! <laughs> Was it ready for that? Man, somebody trashed this place. Look for a passcode, huh? Got some poker chips. All right. What we got here? Sevestopol. I think I'm getting good at saying that. I hope I'm saying it right. I'm trying. Okay. Dr. Lingard. L Lingard? Dr. Lingard. We need more supplies of mood stimulants up here. We're getting really low, and it doesn't help that Coleman seems to be handing them out like candy. Okay, so maybe he is a doctor, or at least a nurse. Logs show he's been to the dispensary 16 times this week. We need to start rationing medication. Sevastopol's people are only going to need these more and more the closer we get to shutdown. Can you talk to Coleman, find out where these prescriptions are going? Illegal seek. Okay. We got here. Hospital court. Hold Look, on, hold we'll on. Need the physical key card too. Morley always kept it on him. Find him. Oh my. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna Warning. jot this down. Medical facility quarantine breach detected. Warning. Oh, Relax. Medical facility quarantine breach detected. I'm just trying to find out what detected. that is. You focus on finding that key card. I will. <laughs> I think I know what that is. I'm gonna focus on trying to read here. Uh, let's see. For senior management eyes only, San Cristobal Medical Facility Quarantine active. Entrance to primary care deck now limited to marshals and senior staff. Universal passcode 1702. Systems will scan for potential quarantine breaches every 15 minutes. Seems like a good idea. Uh, an outpost of progress, a troubled population. Oh, is this continuing that story? We, we Well, that was a couple episodes now, I think, ago. For better or worse, the right to bear arms followed us into colonial space. Alone, vulnerable, and light years from law enforcement? Who could deny our voyagers a way to defend themselves, their ships, and their families? The flip side of this argument is Sevastopol, where gun crime is rampant. Endlessly turning circles in a neglected corner space, its peoples are downbeaten and disconsolate. Those who could afford to leave did so years ago. Oh no. Abandoning friends and neighbors among empty stores, creaking systems, and the forgotten dreams of deep space economic boom. This has, this is totally feels like a Rapture City type thing. It's like a paradise that's gone wrong. Sevastopol's people feel deceived, tempted here by corporations that refuse to recognize that deep space bubble, the deep space bubble was about to burst. They're angry, desperate, and increasingly divided. Recent colonial martial clampdowns on the black market have increased resentment. Every day, it feels as if the station has edged a little closer to freefall. That makes sense. Okay, nothing there, nothing there. All right. Now, he said we would need the physical key as well. Could it be hiding in here? I know I'm hiding in here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Must be in a whole different room. Mm. There's a box right here. What's that on the legend? Item, tool, or weapon. Okay, maybe that's what we're looking for. Okay. Invalid device. Oh my gosh. What is in here? Hello? Friendly? Oh gosh. Friendly? Oh, gosh. Oh, look at it going down.
No way, I think it's huge. Oh, quietly, quietly. That music. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> it sounds like it's like right next to me. Like it's hiding in the locker next to me or something. It must be back up in the vent somewhere. How sensitive is that thing to noise? That's kind of what I'm wondering. It moves fast when it's up there in the vents. My goodness. I wonder if that's the doctor that's actually showing up there. He wasn't showing up before though, if that's him. Oh my gosh, this is so tense. I can hide in you, right? Okay, good. I'm trying to be aware of anything I can duck inside of. Something tells me it's going to be walking around out here soon. Here. Enter the passcode. Oh, no. Uh, was it, uh, 1702? Nope. 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 Uh... Oh my gosh. Oh no. I'm hiding. I couldn't even look. Oh. Oh crap. Oh no way. Oh. I'm not even bringing up the sensor. I think I left just in time. I couldn't even like get myself to hit the keys for that passcode. I was so worked up. 1702. It's a ways out there, but is it circling or? There it is right there. It moves so fast. Gosh, how am I supposed to know when I can go? That is terrifying. The way that thing moves around. It's on that far side. Okay, just move down. Please be quick. Okay. 17. Oh, two. Oh, let me in you. Oh, I can't hardly move. I'm so terrified. I think it's in the same area as me now. Yeah, it's, it is. It's not happy. Oh. There it is. Look at it. It's moving so slow. Oh, you're terrifying, dude. I feel like Amanda, like I'm hyperventilating. Oh, maybe that's a good sign. Did it leave? Oh. 
Oh no, is it coming back again? It is coming back again already. It didn't stay gone long at all. How am I supposed to move when it comes back so fast? I almost prefer the thumps because then I can kind of tell where it's at. Oh, okay, there it is. Oh, this is terrifying. I did have somebody say, if you don't take your time in this game, you will regret it very quickly. So I'm being patient. Oh, it's right there. I don't even want to look. See that it just jumped right across. Terrible. Did it go in the vent? Let's go inside of a room. Oh no. Okay, so that noise, that thumping I was hearing right there was me raising and lowering this. Okay. I thought when it went up into the vent, I might have had a little bit of time. I'm scared to even try to shoot at that thing. Oh no, it is coming in here. Look at that! You can see its teeth. This is so, this is nuts. No way. This is far too real, guys. Look at it loud. Did the door close yet? This thing is not going away. I can't hardly move at all. Do I need to use like flashbangs or something or? Okay. Okay, the room at the end is the one I need to get into. Okay. Says it's straight ahead. Okay, I'm gonna attempt. Got here. This thing's the. Okay, is it still over there? I'm running. Oh, is there no place to hide? Okay, there's one. Okay. I think we're actually okay in here. I just had to give it a second to <laughs> make me feel better. Gosh, that was so terrifying. Okay, we got Morning. 826. Morning. Investigate rooms on their rounds. What? Okay, A26, A29, and C21. Okay, A26. 
26, C21, and A29. Oh, there it is out there. Straight ahead. Oh. They give you just enough vent space to be able to make sure you get a good look at that thing, don't they? Look at it, it's like kicking boxes and stuff out of the way as it walks. Man. I'm glad those things don't have like a sense of smell. Amanda's gotta be sweating so hard right now. <laughs> oh no. Don't you dare. No! It told me to hold my breath like one second before it got there. I had no chance. I was robbed. Okay, current save. That was terrible. I'd worked so hard. And was doing so good. Okay, at least you don't have to, like, watch it eat you and stuff. That was kind of nice to learn. I was totally robbed on that, though. You guys saw it. It was like, hold right mouse button to hold your breath. As the door was being opened. It's terrible. And it was a one-shot kill, too. Did you see that? You don't even get a chance to like defend yourself or anything with those guys. Makes sense though. Okay. Wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything through here since I had to kind of reload. Okay. Doc, you weren't any help. Real question is, can I get myself to go slow? Or am I going to be too tempted to try to rush? Come on. Let's work together, huh? I'm going, I'm going. To keep moving. The area you're in was for more unstable patients. Those who had trouble adapting to deep space. Just tell me where to go, Cole. Tragic case. No, no, wrong mm -hmm. way. Now, I'm more worried about one patient in particular. He has anger issues. And a ferocious right. appetite. If you know what I mean. Oh yeah, I gotta hack it here. Okay, let's go with you. You and you. I wonder, is the passcode gonna be the same, 1702? You're there. That's Morley's office. The passcode should be in there somewhere. Let's see here. Not that one. There it is. Have yep. You found the passcode? I have. Look, we'll need the physical key card too. Morley always kept it up. Find Does it. he now? Relax. I'm break. I'm just trying to find it. Oh gosh. I was like, maybe it's delayed. I'm getting here so I can see better. Gosh. Here we go again. Okay. I'm beginning to think this thing is not as noise sensitive. I could be mistaken on that, but I feel like... Okay. I'm holding the right mouse button to see if it makes a noise like she's holding her breath, but... If I, if I just have to remember to hit that right before it opens the door... I sure hope I can. It looks like it walked to the left and then it didn't come back out. Where are you at? The tension with that music is brutal. There it is. That's a dead end. The door doesn't open. 
don't know if I like staying out here more than being in there or not. Okay, there it is. Mm, I think it went around the corner. Nope, that's doubling back. Man, these things are extremely unpredictable. It's not like they got a set pattern that they loop or anything. It's it's really difficult to try to. Oh crap. Oh. Oh, come on. I pushed the button. It's like it's not working right. It gives you a split second to push the button. But he's like already ripping the door open. Distractions can sometimes attract a deadly threat. Okay. We might have to try that this time. Alright. My goal is to get past this section before we wrap up this episode. Wish me luck. <laughs> she used the button. Or used it when hitting it. Okay. Let's see, what distracting materials do I have? I got a flashbang, a noisemaker. Look, I know what I'm doing. Later than that, I've been here a couple times already. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. That saves us at least a few seconds, should the uh, worst case scenario happen again. Man. I think this time when it starts to come out, I'm going to run the other direction and try to circle around. We're, we're going to see if we can speed run over there before uh, before it gets there. Okay. In fact, I should probably pull out a distraction. Right, go ahead and have That's it ready. The passcode should be in there somewhere. That way, if I need to throw something, it doesn't take me long to pull it out. Hopefully. Okay. Have you found the passcode? Yes. Look, we'll need the physical key card too. Okay, let's All start with the. Find him. Smoke bomb might be good. Noisemaker though. Warning. Medical facility quarantine breach detected. Warning. Kind of like the idea of this. I'm just trying to find out what that is. You focus on finding me. What happens if I just run? Oh, I did. I ran right past it. Great. Man, that music. Oh, where you at? I hear it. It's off to my right somewhere. I can't turn very far that way though. Man, it's so nerve wracking. I don't know where it's at. Like it's close, but Going to the 17. Oh, no, it got me. Oh. <laughs> you see the hand come over the top. Oh, all the track unwanted attention.
That was so terrifying. Well, it did work. It ran over there for a brief second, but that was a lousy place to throw it. Okay. I don't think I have enough to build another one, do I? Yep. Okay. Alright, this time what we're going to do is I'm going to throw one of these out. I'm going to run past it like I did before, but I'm going to throw one of these out to hopefully distract it long enough to put the code in. That's the goal. And there. Oh. Man, I'm so tense. You're there. That's Morley's office. Yep. The passcode should be in there somewhere. It is. I don't know right where it is. I don't even need to look it up anymore. I got it got it down pretty good. Have you found the passcode? Look, we'll need the be really cruel if it like changed on me one time, just be like, uh huh. You think you know it. Okay, uh... Ooh, straight ahead. This updates the mission, that's right. Oh, those aren't hiding places. I thought it was a hiding spot. Sneaking is like completely out the window at the moment. Oh, only because hiding has done me no good here for a minute. Gosh, I would search all this area and this stuff, but. Where you at jump? It's that way. Hide here for a second. Okay. Come on. Keep on walking. My goodness, it's so close. I think it's actually on the other side of me, like in that hallway. Oh, nope, there it is. Oh. All right, I'm gonna try to right mouse click right when I'm supposed to. Uh, oh. Oh, here it comes. S to lean back. No, come on. That time I hit the, the not breathe button and then it says, now lean back. Well, I didn't know I needed to lean back. I'm learning. I'm learning. That's what I got to tell myself. That's it's kind of right. irritating though. Okay, let's go ahead and make another one of these. That worked out pretty good. I'm half tempted to just keep sprinting and then give up on the hiding thing because the hiding thing is not working for nothing. I must be doing something wrong. That's the only thing I can guess. It's like I'm not making a sound or nothing and yet it just finds me and just it's frustrating. Have you found the passcode? I did. Look, we'll need the For the fifth time. Morley always catches up. Find him. Relax. 
Okay. Okay. Go, go, go. So we got 17. Oh, two. Me back there quick. So much for getting to explore and see what all is here. Morley. Morley. Investigate rooms on the route, but I haven't noticed any like numbers. Okay, he's on the other side. Oh, there he is. Oh, I think he left. At least for the moment. Is this one of the rooms? I didn't see a label or anything on it. Found some caps. I wonder if I can like hide under a desk or something, if that's the better route to go. Where are you at? This door, though. No, 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 not that. Uh, did it go out that back door? That was at the front. Oh, front. go. It's like right by me. E Yikes. Alright. Hold breath. Push back. I'm waiting for it. Uh. Oh, go away. You see it like that big old sniff thing? <laughs> Terrifying! Oh. I see it still moving around out there. It hasn't like walked off. No, it's still kind of checking this area. It's like I wish I could hit a save point so I wouldn't have to do all this over again. What's it want me for? Go to the doctor. He's in a he's in a room. He's not going anywhere. Easy target. I ain't getting out of I'm not moving out of this room until I think it's safe. I still hear it. Oh, did it just climb into a, a vent? So noisy when she gets out of something. Oh, it's coming back. Oh, crap. Oh. I'm sitting out in the open. It ran back here. Like, how am I supposed to avoid this thing? Uh, let's maybe if it does find me, I can throw this.
It is like right here. I can't move. This is so nerve wracking. I'm so tense. It's like it knows I'm right here, so it's not leaving. What am I supposed to do in that situation? Should I try shooting at one of these things? Okay. It might have walked off. I'm not putting this thing down. I'm keeping it cocked and ready. Am I in the right place? Oh, no, I'm completely off. I can't go through that door. Investigate rooms. How do I get over to that? I'm in the sedation ward. It's almost like I need to go out this way and down. Because this was just a room. I want to say these other directions were locked. A la oh, that's how I got in here. Mm, what is... Oh, this is one of those power panels. I could redirect. Okay. I bet that's what I got to do. Thing beeps when I'm sitting out here in the open. What's up with that? Can I crawl under this? Oh, I can. That I didn't expect. Over that way somewhere. Oh, okay. This worked okay last time. <laughs> Got my flash ready. Oh, we're going past that hour mark just because I have to crawl so slow through this part. Not to mention I've died five times. Right there. Walk off, dude. It sounds angry. Oh. right behind me. I can't even turn to look. That's kind of the worst part that you, you just you're kind of stuck just sitting here looking in one direction. You can't move. Oh, it's doubling back again. If I thought I could actually do that wire thing fast enough, I would consider throwing this down that hallway and then try to go that way. far though and not for long come on hurry up quick get away get inside get 
one side. Oh, I turned on sprinklers. I don't know if that'll do a thing. Was there another switch somewhere? Okay, I don't see any others. Okay, it says there's item here, item here. I don't know if those are just supplies or what, but I want to get... You know what? What we might try to do is see if I can go hit one of these save spots and then pick up on the next episode. <laughs> I hate having to end in the middle of like a tense moment like this, but I have not figured this out. Pretty good chance I'm going to die again. Where's it at? Almost sounds like it's in the vents. Over there to my left. Did the sprinklers do anything? Okay, I'm gonna try. Update my map, please. Try to save it. This is definitely not a hiding spot. I might regret this. Curious to see what happens. Oh, good, he walked off. I'm not that curious. Gosh. Can't go up there. I'm gonna try to get to Heidi's spot, and then that's where we're gonna end this episode. So at least I'm not starting out. Well, I guess in the next episode, I'll be back over there at the same location, anyways. All right, sorry I couldn't bring like a conclusion to this little section right here before ending this episode, but we're already like well past the hour mark. <laughs> There's no sign of me figuring this out just yet. So we are encountering an alien, and if you got any tips for me, oh my gosh, here it comes. I got a feeling I'm going to have to do the hold the breath thing. It could be a good practice here for me. But if you got any tips for me on how to deal with these guys and what to do in situations, I would greatly appreciate those in the comments. I'm all for it. And... Oh. Oh no, he's not leaving. There he goes. Oh, that's just so tense. I don't know if I ever get used to that. Anyways, that's what we're going to wrap up this episode. And we're going to pick up right in this intensity at the beginning of the next one. Until then, continue to be safe out there. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>